This morning, an unlikely duo is leading a new charge for stricter gun control. Comedian Amy Schumer made her first public remarks on Monday about July's deadly Louisiana theater shooting. Now, it happened during a screening of her movie, Trainwreck. She stood alongside her second cousin, that would be New York Senator Chuck Schumer. Jim Axelrod joins us to tell us more about the three-point plan to curb gun violence. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. The comedian and the politician, bound by family ties, are asking for more intensive background checks and increased government funding for mental health care. That must have rocked you to your core. Man, what a bummer. I was like legit heartbroken. Amy Schumer appeared as a guest of John Stewart Monday night on The Daily Show. Yeah, I, the second this happened, I was, I, you know, you want to act. I wanted to go down there and just do whatever right. I could. And uh, so, yeah, this has been in the works. Earlier on Monday, the comedian stood okay, alongside senior morning, New York everybody. Senator Chuck Schumer, her cousin, and made an impassioned plea. These shootings have got to stop. I don't know how else to say it. Using a handgun he purchased legally, John Hauser shot 11 people inside a theater last month, killing two women, Macy Bro and Jillian Johnson, during a showing of Schumer's movie, Trainwreck. When I heard about this news, I was completely devastated. I'm not sure why this man chose my movie to end these two beautiful lives and injure nine others, but it was very personal for me. Authorities said Hauser had a history of mental illness. There's a right to bear arms. I agree with that. The Democratic senator said the current background check system is filled with fatal loopholes. We all know that if the laws were tight, the shooter in Charleston would not have passed a background check. The shooter in Lafayette would have been declared mentally unfit. A provision in federal law allows a gun buy to happen if a background check is not completed within three days. The FBI said that breakdown allowed Dylan Roof to purchase a firearm in the South Carolina church shooting in June. The critics scoff and say, well, there's no way to stop crazy people from doing crazy things, but they're wrong. There is a way to stop them. Now, the chances of a gun control vote in the GOP-led Congress are unlikely. Remember, two-plus years ago, in the aftermath of the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary, the Democratic-led Senate couldn't get the 60 votes necessary to advance background checks legislation. We did reach out to the NRA for a comment this morning. But have not heard back. Gail? All right. Amy Schumer and Chuck Schumer together. I think many people didn't even know they were related mm -hmm. until today. Do now. Working on a very important cause. Thank you, Jim.